first question is from Jesse Va. On your most recent podcast, you talked about how cardio isn't good for weight loss, but if you're living a sedentary lifestyle and your job requires you to sit for most of the day, is it okay to walk on the treadmill at a steady speed for about 30 minutes? Yeah, of course it's okay. So look, let's just be very clear. As a weight loss tool, cardio sucks. It's great for health. It's great for stamina and endurance. It's great for uh, all the things associated with better health and mobility. So don't not do cardio because, uh, you, you know, you hear us say it's a terrible tool for weight loss. That doesn't mean it doesn't have any value. It's got tons of value. Look, if you're sedentary yeah. and your options are nothing or walking or doing some cardio, like We're it's going to be move. way better. Yeah, our body is built to move and you need to account for the activity throughout <laughs> Uh, the day, the week. And I mean, that's something that's a healthy practice. It's it's just in terms of like using that as the tool for fat loss. That's one thing that we try to educate people on. There's a better way to, to approach that. Listen, the goal for all of my clients was get to a place when they where they were doing either scheduled cardio every week or some sort of sport or physical activity that they loved. Ideally, I always want that, right? I always want... Yeah my clients to pursue something that they love kayaking, you know, basketball, swimming, these things that they, they, these leisure like things where they can do with their friends and, and socialize and also stay healthy and fit from cardiovascular training. But it's a terrible way to start someone on a fat loss journey. So that's the message that we're always trying to send is, and it tends to be the go-to. So if you were to talk to a doctor, some even today, but 10 years ago, for sure, and you were obese, uh, one of the first things they tell you to do is start eating salads and have protein shakes and go for a run and run and to burn calories. And it's just a terrible strategy to get somebody in shape. But if I teach you how to eat correctly, build muscle, build your metabolism, and then get you to your goal, the next step would be to have some sort of consistent cardiovascular routine that we build into your lifelong routine that's sustainable for uh, forever. Yeah, again, it's just it's it's good for you. It's totally good for you. But look, trying to burn calories through cardio and using that as the way to lose body fat is a losing strategy. The data is clear. Number one, you don't burn as many calories as you think. Number two, your body learns to burn less calories when you do that consistently. Well, how does it do that? Well, it reduces your other activity without you realizing it. But also what it does is it slows your metabolism down by paring muscle down. So the fat loss effects you get from cardio alone are gone in a very short period of time. And then you're stuck with a bit of a slower metabolism. So if you're like, I want to lose fat, that's my goal. What should I do? Uh, it's not cardio in terms of exercise. It's strength training. Now, if you're like, I want to get healthy, I want to lose fat, but I also want to be healthy. Strength training should be the foundation. And then you do some daily activity uh, for your health. So there's 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 tremendous value. Just because something doesn't isn't great for fat loss or weight loss doesn't mean there's no value. There's tons of value in cardiovascular activity just in terms of overall health. It's just a terrible tool when it comes to weight loss. That's all. 